Welcome to Human Biology Bio 1030, and I am your instructor, Courtney Alexander, in the biology department. So this summer, we will be exploring the human body in an asynchronous online class. The best way to contact me is going to be through Canvas. There is an ability to message me through Canvas. Um, that is the best way to get in touch with me. Please allow about 24 hours to respond to messages sent during the week. Um, and I am only available on limited basis over the weekend. So again, please give me during business hours to respond to your Canvas message. You can also send me an email at courtney.carroll at uncp.edu. And if you're on campus, I am generally in my office Monday through Thursday, 9 to 3 p.m. Um, and that is in Health Science Center, room 159. The way that this class is going to work is that you are going to move through the material at your own pace. So it's asynchronous, it's online, and it all has to be completed within the one summer session. So it does move pretty quickly, and you should expect to devote a fair amount of time to the material. My goals for you for this summer session are for you to learn about the human body, as well as some things that go wrong that lead to certain disease states. In this class, we will not be using a um, paid for textbook. Instead, we're gonna use a free online textbook as a way to try to keep class costs low for this gen ed class. And so the only supply that you really need is a computer with a working internet connection. It also will be helpful for you to have Microsoft Word as some of the homeworks require you to edit a document. The way that this course is structured is that we will have four modules, each taking about one week. In each module, we will explore the anatomy and physiology of the systems of the body. And then we will talk about what goes wrong in diseases associated with those organ systems. So to start, you will read through the online textbook and answer guided readed questions or GRQs. This is like a study guide. So you are in effect creating your own study guide as you read through the book and answer these questions. Then you will move on to a case study, which explores a disease associated with the organ systems. I've included two ways for you to learn this material, depending on your learning style. The preferred method is for you to watch the videos that I have created and linked on Canvas, as well as put on my YouTube channel. These videos go in depth or to the appropriate level of depth about the topic and are a great way to learn. I've also included the PowerPoint that I use for each topic if you prefer to learn from a PowerPoint. A great thing to do is for you to have the PowerPoint open while you watch the videos, and then you could take notes in the PowerPoint as I explain concepts. Once you feel prepared for that unit and you understand the material, you will take a timed quiz. This quiz is, again, timed. It is graded for correctness. And so you really want to make sure you understand the material before you start and open that quiz. That quiz will only show you one question at a time, and the questions will be locked after you select your answers. So please make sure you are prepared before you start each quiz. Then you will also participate in a discussion board for each module. And the discussion boards are a way for us to build a community here in our asynchronous online class. Finally, we're gonna end the summer session with a project. Now you can work on the project individually or you can work on it with a group of two or three people. It's up to you, it's depending on your preference. Um, and that project will be a creation of a video where you will explain some key facts and details about a disease of your choice. And again, all of the details for that are on Canvas. So please take a moment, read through the syllabus, go through Canvas, see the structure. And if you have any questions, please send me a Canvas message. I look forward to working with you this summer.